The other day, Nancy Pelosi formally announced there would be an impeachment inquiry. My understanding is that there hasn't, they haven't actually voted on the resolution to do it. So I don't know if it's actually happening, but they're claiming it's going to happen. None of that matters. Okay. They're, they're saying it's going to happen. Okay. Let's just operate on that premise. They're using this. They're targeting Trump over Ukraine. The transcripts have been released. I am waiting a little bit to do a bigger story on what's going on in the transcript. For those that are wondering, if you've made it to this video, the transcripts are a big nothing burger. But before I get into that, I want to talk about Donald Trump and 4D chess. You don't have to think Donald Trump is playing 4D chess, or as I tweeted, you don't have to think Donald Trump is playing 4D chess to see the Democrats are playing checkers. Donald Trump released this video just about, what, 20 or 30 minutes after they announced that he was going, they they were moving forward with impeachment. What does that mean? In all likelihood, this video was prepared. I do not believe they whipped this video up in a half an hour. It's a bunch of select clips talking about impeachment. This says to me that Donald Trump was prepared for this. He doesn't have to be playing 4D chess. He's just playing chess, okay? He saw their move. He planned a counterpunch. There it is. Now here's the bigger story. The main story I want to get to. Trump fundraises with the official impeachment defense task force. The Daily Caller reports, In a fundraising email sent to the Daily Caller, the Trump campaign is urging strong American patriots to resist the attempts by Democrats to silence you. Those interested can join the official impeachment defense task force with their contribution before... Okay, you know what? Remember I said yesterday, Democrats were walking into a trap? Yes, Donald Trump is now fundraising off this. Admittedly, there's a lot of stuff to talk about having to do with Ukraine, but the news kind of still has to settle. But let me just say... Boy, was this a trap. The main story I want to focus on is not necessarily the bigger breaking news, but well, actually, no, this is big breaking news. There you go. There it is. Congratulations, uh, Trump and Defense Task Force. GOP raises approximately $1 million on first day of, quote, impeachment. There was a question raised by the New York Times the other day. I talked about it. Does Trump want to be impeached? And a lot of people believe the answer is yes, because he'll never be removed from office. The Senate won't allow it. But it shows the Democrats don't care about core issues. I I retweeted something about this earlier, and I can't remember who it was, but I agree. And and it's like, great, now the Democrats are wrapped up in this stupid impeachment fight. They'll never win. Why are they doing it? I'll tell you why. The Democrats are, are, are puppets of the media, unintentionally. Nancy Pelosi, bless her heart, she tried so hard to resist this. But alas, she couldn't. In the end, she was roped into the impeachment trash. They, they, they pulled her in. They pulled her in. And now, based on what we're hearing of the UK, Ukraine transcript, it seems like they are going to... Uh, it's bad. It, it's, it's, it's really bad for them. So here's the thing. When the media puts out a story, oftentimes it doesn't really go anywhere. No, this is true for most stories. The story about Biden and Trump and this phone call, it's actually pretty old. And my understanding is it originated with a Washington Post opinion piece. I kid you not, an opinion piece, not a fact-based bit of journalism. Someone wrote an opinion that they thought what Trump was doing was akin to interference. And then all of a sudden the media picked up. So the Dems were forced to react. Pelosi didn't want to. It's so strange, isn't it? Why did it all happen? Almost like Trump was planning the whole thing. Almost like, again, you don't got to think he's playing 4D chess, but the Democrats certainly are are, are helpless. Trump puts out a tweet. And what happens? The media goes nuts. The media makes a statement. The Dems are forced to react. Trump is a leader and people are following him. The Democrats, they have no one. They are fractured, running around like chickens with their head cut off. And now Trump has raised approximately $1 million. If it wasn't on purpose, okay, as I've said many times, You would expect me to believe that Trump accidentally slips on a banana peel, but then performs a perfect backflip out of it. How is it always an accident? How is it always he's making mistakes? Okay, we can talk about his his, his misstatements, his boorish behavior, all of that all day and night. But come on, man. He made a million bucks off this. It is helping him. Impeachment is unpopular. Democrats aren't campaigning on policy issues anymore. And this is going into the Democratic debates. It's, it's, it's insane. It, you know, what do you think is going to happen now at the Dem debate? The, the, the Democrats are going to be sitting up on stage and there's going to be many of them saying, I want to talk about health care. And they're going to be like, we got to talk about impeachment. The Democrats are moving forward. Let's read the news from the Daily Caller. The Republican National Committee 
raised approximately $1 million Tuesday after Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi came out in favor of the impeachment of President Donald Trump for the first time after meeting with her caucus. The re-election campaign and a joint fundraising committee started fundraising in regards to impeachment around 2 p.m. and pulled in $1 million by 8 p.m. in six hours. Tuesday night, according to The Hill, RNC Chairman Ronna McDaniel sent out a tweet Tuesday afternoon saying the RNC raised $350,000 in Michigan Democratic Rep Alyssa Slotkin's district for backing impeachment. She said, we will absolutely hold House Democrats accountable for this. Donald Trump won Alyssa Slotkin's district in Michigan, yet she's backing this baseless in impeachment inquiry. In less than six hours, our anti-Slotkin effort alone raised $350,000. Boy, I tell you what, Kavanaugh effect. I think, I think, you know, you have the Streisand effect. I think Kavanaugh effect is going to now start pertaining to any instance where political attacks result in, it, it, it's, it's almost like a Streisand effect. It's very similar, right? In the Streisand effect, if you're not familiar, when you try to remove something or silence something, it comes back bigger. The story originated when, I, I think the story is basically Barbara Streisand, there were photos of her home and she demanded a website take them down, which created a news story. And then the photos became newsworthy and went viral. In the Kavanaugh effect, the, the, the Democrats went after Kavanaugh with baseless accusations and it rallied Republicans and strengthened them. And many believe that is why the Republicans took the Senate. If you really want to impeach Trump, the worst thing you could have done is go after Brett Kavanaugh because it gave Republicans a stronger Senate. That, at, at least that's what even, you know, people like Bill Maher even think, okay? So I, I think that's a fact. I think when you go after the president in this way, with flimsy accusations, without seeing any evidence, you are going to get a lot of angry people who are going to donate, they're going to rally, and they're going to vote. And I'll say it again, man, the Democratic debates are coming up, the fourth debates. And what do you think the subject matter is going to be now? Do you think these people have an opportunity to talk about why their economic plan makes sense? Maybe a little bit. But this is going to overshadow everything. They, they just can't help but play Trump's game. I can't tell you how many videos I've made. If you've watched all of my videos every day, I, how many videos have I made where I said that Trump is, is, is he's playing them like a fiddle? It's, I'm not going to sit here. I don't want to pretend that Trump and his team crafted up this great plan, like they say, 4D chess. But it doesn't matter, okay? Because the Democrats have no leadership. There is no individual guiding the party anymore. They're all over the place. They say Pelosi publicly announced late Tuesday afternoon today, I'm announcing the House of Representatives is moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. Great. Well, we'll, I'll, we'll see when I believe it. Let me, let, let me see the, the resolution pass. Despite Pelosi's early reluctance to push for impeachment, there are currently 200 Democrats who support impeachment or an impeachment inquiry. Pelosi has said she believes Trump is goading Democrats to impeach him because he think it will help him fire up his base. Congratulations. You know what, man? This is why she resisted. I feel bad for Pelosi. She knew. She understood the whole time. Trump has just raised a million dollars. You think that, that, you know, Trump thinks it's going to fire up his base? Lady, he just raised a million bucks in six hours. Did it fire up his base? Yes, it did. So, so you know what? Again, Pelosi knew. She resisted this and resisted this, but eventually even the moderates started getting on board and that was a huge mistake. Moderate Democrats started coming for impeachment. You made a mistake. They have no strong leadership. Pelosi's lost control. She's lost control of, of the party. Admittedly, look, she's a, what Speaker of the House. It's not like she's the, the most prominent figure in the Democrats. Hillary Clinton's out. Obama's gone. Who do they have left? What leadership do they have? What strong personalities? You look to the Republican side and you can easily see a handful of Republicans who are prominent and powerful. You got Ted Cruz and Lindsey Graham, for instance, Marco Rubio. They've been relatively prominent in a lot of big political issues. Democrat side, what do we have? I mean, you have Schumer and Pelosi, but they're not, I mean, what are they doing? In, in reality, the strength of their party is Ocasio-Cortez. She's the one commanding press. She's the one in the forefront, and she's the one being followed. Pelosi has is, is lost it. I gotta say, it's, it's a bit worrying, because as much as I'm not a big fan of these, these, these establishment crony Democrats, I'm not a big fan of the identitarian, woke, far left weirdos more. So it's kind of like, well, you know what? I think we're doomed. They go on to say many of Pelosi's Democratic colleagues previously pushed for impeaching Trump, including Democratic Texas Rep Al Green, who broke with Pelosi when he vowed to force a vote to impeach Trump in late March. 
Green, who previously had several bills to impeach Trump overwhelmingly rejected by the House of Representatives, called for a third impeachment vote. Pelosi said impeachment was just not worth it in a March interview. Today's comments were just the first time Pelosi said Trump should be impeached. So there you go. The impeachment, it's here. It was a mistake. It's firing up their base. So here's what I'm going to do. I have a ton of stuff I want to talk about pertaining to the actual Ukraine scandal, which I am so sick of. It's so dumb, especially when it turns out to be a huge nothing burger. I kid you not. But the, uh, at the time of filming this, the transcript came out you know, a couple hours ago. And what needs to happen is I need to see all of the responses. I need to see this big you know, push. And it really looks like the left and the right are in two different universes on this one. But let me just make it very clear. Stick around. 4 p.m. On, on, on my other channel, Tim, youtube.com slash Timcast, we are going to be tearing this thing apart because it turns out the transcript, it, transcript is a nothing burger. It is nothing. On a scale of zero of one to 100, where one is absolutely nothing and 100 is, you know, proof positive, corruption scandal and all that, it's like a seven. It's like, yeah, okay, I can see, you know, maybe should have framed it that way, but really in the end, nothing. Stick around. I'll see you at 4 p.m., when we dive deeper into the impeachment Ukraine stuff, the big takeaway from this, I just wanted to, I really wanted to do the update because Trump raised a million bucks, a million bucks. He's, it, it, you know what, man, <laughs> I'll see it for.